Rarely do I see something that catches my eye, something that inspires true creativity, something that just leaves you wanting more. When I do come across something like that, I almost always seize the opportunity to grab it and do whatever I can with it, never letting go. In this case, Octavo Systems created a system in package that, once my eyes landed on it, I couldn't get it out of my head. But what is this SIP which I speak of? Why is it so amazing? Well, in this episode of Product of the Week, we will be looking at the OSD 62 PMBRK, a tiny development breakout board for using Octavo Systems' latest SIP, the OSD 62 XPM. If you want the chance to win one of these boards, then leave a comment below telling us what you'll do with it. The OSD 62 PMBRK is a development board that lets you play around and test the OSD 62 XPM. And because of that, we should really first look at that. The OSD 62 XPM is a system in package that combines just about everything you need to get a complete computing system working, including the CPU, DDR4 memory, and passives. As such, you don't need to worry about interacting with the DDR memory, the passive requirements, the routing, and all that nonsense. Nope, instead, you just merely need to provide power, whatever I.O. devices you need, and you're good to go. Of course, not everyone wants to create a custom PCB for their OSD 62PM, so the clever guys at Octavo Systems, who I'm sure took my advice when I spoke to them at Embedded World, put their SIP onto a breakout board, making it easy to play with. Again, it's not the breakout board that's awesome here. Well, it is, because it makes playing with the OSD 62PM easy. What really matters is the OSD 62PM SIP. This package contains a Texas Instruments AM62 CPU, which itself contains up to four ARM Cortex-A53s clocked at 1.4 GHz, a 3D graphics processing unit with support for up to 2048 by 1080 displays and OpenGL, and tons of peripherals like I2C, SPI, and PWM. Furthermore, the package integrates the needed DDR4 memory along with all the passives and bits needed to make all of these devices work together. And if you have ever worked with DDR, well, you will know that it's a DDR lot of headache. You know, double data headache? No? Okay. But really, the fact that the SIP itself is only 9 by 14 millimeters really goes to show just how tiny it is. And as it is a BGA package, it is readily compatible with reflow soldering. Now that is a glass of iced tea I'd like to sip from. Oh, and if you want to know something really amazing, they actually stack dies on the package, so these are more like 3D devices, finally taking advantage of the vertical space. But what makes this breakout awesome? Well, it just gave you access to all of that in a prototyping-friendly design and package. If you ask me, Octavo Systems has just given us a true masterpiece. Now, let's see its features. The first, and probably most important feature, is that the OSD 62 PM BRK gives you access to the OSD 62 PM in all of its entirety, including full access to all I.O., which itself includes Gigabit Ethernet, MIP CSI, Time Sensitive Networking, USB 2.0, UART, SPI, I2C, MUC ASP, EPWM, CAN, EMMC, SDIO, and more. There are even buses in this thing I haven't even heard of before. Secondly, all of this I.O. is either accessible via headers and pads or through physical connectors, with the headers being compatible with micro-e clickboards, a CSI connector, OLDI and LVDS interfaces, micro SD card slot, and two USB-Cs. Thirdly, the DDR memory size in the OSD 62 PMBRK is one gigabyte, so you have plenty of space for your applications along with any running operating system. With the TPS65219 integrated into the board, the only power you need to provide is via the USB connector, simplifying the use in designs, and the additional JTAG option means that you have the ability to program this device directly. With a form factor of only 4 by 1.2 inches, or 101.6 by 30.48 millimeters for those who are civilized, this tiny breakout board makes working with the OST 62 PM not just a breeze, but a privilege. What can you do with the OSD 62PM BRK? Well, 
The first idea is that this could be a useful kit for creating industrial systems. The use of micro E boards, along with the strong industrial capabilities of the OSD 62PM, means that this could be ideal for controlling machinery, providing complex HMIs, and even making real time decisions, especially thanks to its support for time sensitive networking. Secondly, this breakout could be useful for creating a more application specific Pi. While the Pi is okay, it's far from ideal for 99% of its eventual use cases. Instead, this breakout board could help cut down on hardware and software that isn't needed, and the ability to support Linux means that popular programming environments can also be supported, which also makes it easier to maintain. As such, a large power-hungry Pi can be replaced with a single OSD 62PM BRK, all while giving you far better I.O. capabilities. Thirdly, this board could be great for those who need a microcontroller on steroids. Just because it can support Linux doesn't mean it has to. In fact, you can program this device straight up as if it were a microcontroller, giving you an absurdly powerful device. This could be ideal for real-time systems needing high redundancy and fast response times, I'm thinking precision measurements, machining, and possibly scientific setups. I love what Octavia Systems have produced here, and that is by no means an exaggeration. I genuinely, passionately love what they have produced. Now, there is a part of me that absolutely has an axe to grind against the Pi, but when you realize that at the heart of the OSD 62 PMBRK is a tiny SIP that combines the CPU with all the passives and the DDR memory needed to get it working, it, it's just so cool. And that's what gets me super excited is the idea of having a PCB with multiple of these SIPs all working to, oh, I nearly gave away my secret project idea. So if you are serious about working with one of the world's most awesome SIPs, then the OSD 62 PMBRK is definitely the board for you. If you want the chance to win one of these boards, then leave a comment below detailing what you would use it for. And if you like what we do here at Electromaker, then remember to check out our amazing store. This is Robin Mitchell, signing off. <laughs>